In this brief video, we'll delve into the inner workings of eShare and showcase how easy it is to set up a project or connect to an external system or data source. eShare is a web-based digital twin that uses the 3D model and associated information created during the design, engineering and production phases of an engineering project to gather data from external systems like planning and ERP, as well as from document repositories. In doing so, it can provide a comprehensive project-wide view of the current status of the project. Additionally, but to find the information they need regardless of the software systems they have experience with, the department they work in, or their work location within the project. Normally, implementing such systems takes a long time as the integration team has to comprehend, model, and create an information management solution that meets your business needs, leading to costly service and consultancy fees. With eShare, we strive to bypass both long implementations and costly services, aiming to have a basic configuration up and running within hours, allowing you to experience your data inside the solution. With maturing web standards for system interfaces, we offer a low-code approach to configuring connections to external systems without even accessing the server. Essentially, with a little bit of IT knowledge and guidance from us, you can explore connecting to other systems without requiring a full training package before you begin. Now let's take a closer look at eShare's configuration. So what you will see is that we'll be adding a file structure on the server hard disk to the document page. We'll be configuring some reference links from the document to the model. And subsequently we'll make the backlinks from the model to the documents. So next I want to bring in documents, uh, build a document library again. I do this using the adapters. So let's add file system adapter. Just leave that as it is. And now I'll make that a data source. So we can call this our document library. And I'll make it available to all users. You could include multiple parts of your document library and start to control which user groups have access to those folders. So I will need a folder. And we can go out to our documents there. Let's do a copy and paste. These are my default document types and I could bring in additional documents. I can also use the file path for linking to the model, but I'm not going to do that at this point. It's a little bit more complicated. Now, if I go to my documents and update, we can see we have the full list there. So if I wanted to go to say, uh, technical specifications for one of our thrusters that brings the document in it's the first time it's done it. So there is indeed some need to cache the document. At this stage, there are no links between documents and model. In fact, I have a GHA here, which I can use for that purpose. So simple GA, and I want to link these compartments into the model. Now, this could be considered a bit of a cheap, but I'm lucky that these identifiers are the same as those used in the model. That doesn't typically happen, but this is such a simple model that has happened that way. So let's link those documents together. Let's search for our general management drawings. And since I know I've only got one, and this is a simple example, uh, I only have to create a search pattern to bring that single drawing in. It's going to be GA slash dot. So as I said, we can start to develop some rules to capture text uh, using gen regular expressions and then link them to model items directly or model items specified by an attribute. But since that is a typical feature, I can indeed uh, use the, the automatic system for doing that. Um, I don't need to do any more definition. So now when I go back and I click on my GA, get processed in the background, we can see all of these links have been attached. So if I want to go straight to the accommodation, we can do that. 
I wanted to go to a space in there. Do that. At the moment, the backlinks haven't been generated. I need to tell the system to do so. So going back to my, my document adapter, I can say, hey, uh, please index my documents as fast as possible. Save that. This may take a few moments to happen. Uh, but going back to our documents and loading that, now go to say my hmm, let's go to the bridge see that the bridge is now loaded in with that so a very simple um, one step option to connect my documents I would say let's go to my cargo bump room in my general arrangement it goes directly there and we can see there are actually four occurrences on there which we can go through Cargo pump room. If I wanted to go to my mud tanks, I can go back. So doc bringing documents in can be very, very easy. So that pretty much sum sums up this uh, quick introduction to eShare administration. Happy to try it out.